First of all, what we need to do is we need to decide how big we want this thing. So I'm going to remove the two center rings off both. So I'm just going to remove them out and just out like so. And we want to keep those in a safe spot so we don't lose them later. So what's the problem with these things is the wrapping process. It's very difficult to get this through that without having to pull each string all the way through. So what I have realized is that we, if you make smaller balls, uh, that can actually fit through the actual center of the ring, just like so, you can uh, do it a lot quicker. And you got to think about it, you're going to be cutting the pom-pom the anyway, so you can actually make sm uh, several small balls like this and begin to wrap. So just put your string on the interior, putting them both together so that the groove is in the middle, just like so. Let's just hold one in. So we're just going to hold it down and the circles will eventually align together as you're wrapping. So just uh, continue to wrap all the way around as you go. What I did with the pom-pom with the, the one that's on the Canadian version is that I put two strings together into one ball, one little mini ball. And when I was rolling up the ball, I was making sure that when I was done that it would still fit through the center. It is a lot quicker to do it this way than it is to um, just feed the string in and uh, pull like 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet of string uh, all through the, the the center so it's easier just to continue to wrap so you want to continue to kind of fill it up as you go and uh, the more string that you put on board uh, the, the tighter the pom-pom will be the less string um, the looser it will be so um, just continue to wrap around and what we'll do is we'll meet you back up here when we're ready for the next step so keep so on going. Now I have finished wrapping so what we're just going to do is just nicely trim the actual extra. I'm not going to worry about the length of that too much. So now what we need to do is just on this ring we need to separate just pull a section back so that you can start inserting your scissors and using cupping your hand just like so we're going to snip our scissors in the inside and begin to trim. Sometimes I like to lift it up a little bit but I want to be a little bit gentle with this because I don't want these strings falling out of the center of my work at this time. So just working your way through. I've never been able to make really good pom-poms until I got this tool the other day because I'm thinking I'm loving the one that's on that Canadian hat. It's so consistent and using my pom-poms I when I do them with uh, cardboard you can actually still see the the interior of the pom-pom so I really like this tool because you can't see where that you've tied everything together. Now when we go to our next step what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to recommend that you tie together the pom-pom using two sets of strings. So in this case because it's blue I would use two separate uh, blue strings uh, to tie this together. And again we're trying to be gentle as possible because you don't want them falling out. So that's what it will look like at this point. You can see that I've held it together. And so now what we need to do is get two pieces of blue string. So I'm going to cut mine, eh, I'm a little bit too generous, but maybe nine inches long. And I'm going to grab two of them. And I'm going to put them together just like so. So now let's get our project back and we just want to be very gentle with this thing again. And what we want to do now is just put it in between the two grooves and it will force the two to separate just like so. And what we want to do is just kind of bring it back around. But I want my tie strings to be also the consistent length as well. So I'm using my, my two fingers and I'm pulling it together like a vise like so. And the key to a pom-pom is the tightness of this tie that you're about to do. So you can see I'm still holding everything on there just like so and I'm just beginning to tie my first knot. And so I'm gonna, you know, I always say in crochet never reef or tug but you know honeys, you better reef down on this thing. So let's reef. Now it's gonna pull it nice and tight just like so. And so now what I'm going to do is tie the second one before removing the rings off. And the one ring is about to fall off in the background, but I'm not too worried about that. Let me just uh, go and pull these strings through. Nice and tight. So one's fallen off. The other one's fallen off. And voila, you now have 
you just gotta fluff it just like so just gotta fluff it and now let's give it a little bit of a trim so you just want to make your just get rid of the ones that kind of stick out like a sore thumb god that's beautiful so what I'm going to do now is using these two sets of strings I'm just going to use my crochet hook god that turned out really good there's like hardly any trim and there you go you have your new American hat with a pom-pom I think that's brilliant so there you go oh make sure you turn turn those strings on the inside as well so there you go enjoy <laughs>